I can't believe that these words are about to come out of my mouth. <laughs> Today I'm putting acrylic toenails on my dad's prosthetic feet. <laughs> Mackenzie, why are you putting acrylic toenails on your dad's prosthetic feet? Because I think it's funny and I think you will too. A little bit of background information. My dad was in the military and he actually got blown up by a bomb on my mom's 21st birthday. So he is now missing an arm and a leg as a result of that. He has prosthetics. As a kid growing up, my dad was girl dad heaven and he let me paint his toenails all the time. But the twist was he would let me paint the toenails on his prosthetic feet. <laughs> now I'm actually at my parents' house right now filming this and I'm home alone. My parents have left to go on a camping trip. So they asked if I would watch their animals, water their plants, give their fake feet toenails. <laughs> Basically, I asked my dad if I could paint the toenails on his prosthetic feet for a video while he was gone. What I didn't tell him is that we are doing acrylic toenails. I've actually tried to do acrylic nails two times before. So I'm not really a noob going into this. I'm a professional, okay? And professionals have their own nail salons. And uh, looking around, this place doesn't look very professional. So I've decided that I'm gonna give this place a nail salon makeover. Knocking everything over. Is it looking cute yet? Kinsey's nail salon is now in business. Oh my god, that's so cool. She has her own nail salon. Oh my gosh. She is so awesome. I want to be just like her. We are ready for business. Allow me to introduce you to our first two clients. This is Jerrica. <laughs> Obviously, we've got a little bit of work on our hands, or should I say, feet. <laughs> we have a lot of options we can do here, right? I'm thinking if I judge these feet based on the vibes that they give me and the amount of work that they need, I'm thinking we try to do something classy, sophisticated, cute on this foot. And on this foot, we go crazy, do a lot of gems and something that will really stand out and draw the attention away from, um, um, a little bit of, um, uh, dry skin cracking, rotting. And since Beatrice, I think it's going to take more love and care to get her looking where we need her to be. We're gonna start out with Jerrica. Oh, would you look at that? Jerrica still has some leftover from last time. <laughs> Oscar, don't you do it. No. Oscar. 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 Did you book an appointment? I'm sorry, sir, but you are going to have to leave. Please don't make us cause a scene. Crazy these days, storming into a nail salon and destroying all the property. We need to pull out our professional supplies. 
This is my bag of shit, but it's a bag of shit that is all nail related. So that means that everything I will need is somewhere lost in all of this. <laughs> Let's get a little close up of Miss Jerrica for you so that you can really see what we're working with. Say hello to Jerrica. Wow. She's going to be very happy after having our services today. I'm just taking the toothpicks. Or what the hell is it called? Nail clippers. I'm taking the nail clippers and trying to get all up in there. Anyway, I'm probably going to be here for a minute. I'll be back once I've yoinked all this off. Now that we have a nice clean base that we're working with, it is time to apply some tips. Funny enough, I actually have a story about super glue and feet. Basically, whenever I was eight or nine, somewhere around there, I don't even know what it was that I was doing, but I had super glue and I was super gluing something and I accidentally dropped the bottle of super glue in the floor and I had carpet on my floors. It was in my bedroom and my big toe got super glued to the carpet and I couldn't get it out. So I sat there for, I mean, I don't know, well over an hour, kind of panicking because I didn't know how I was going to, well, A, get myself out, but B, get myself out without telling my parents because I didn't want to get my ass beat. Long story short, I ran out of time and uh, my mom found me and the super glue and I was not allowed to use super glue after that. I wouldn't be surprised if they take away my super glue privileges again after they see this. But you know what? We are living in the moment. Me living in the moment. Even the super glue does not want to stick. Maybe it's the tips, okay? Maybe I need to just use the other tips. Ooh. See, the thing about these is I don't know that there's one that's like big enough for the toe. I mean, you gotta like flatten it on there for it to expand big enough to where I feel like it kind of is more believable, but no, we're kind of running out of options here. Oh my god, that might have actually worked! <gasps> now I'm just gonna try to do all of the other toes. Oh no, the big toe fucking fell off again! Oh. Am I actually gonna cry over a big toe right now? Alright, we just need to hold it longer. You know what? We're just gonna do a little concoction now of all of the adhesives because surely there could be no chemical endangerment. Jerrica, I swear to God, if you do not start acting right, you are going to come out looking like Beatrice. <laughs> Just to give you a little bit of an understanding as to what kind of timeline we're on here. I've been here for about four hours now, <laughs> and we don't even have the fucking tips on. <laughs> but you know what? I'm just having so much fun. Fun. I'm here with you guys, Jerrica, Beatrice, Trisha, Ethan. Truly, I wouldn't rather be anywhere else other than right here, right now, putting toenails on my dad's fake foot. No, I broke a nail! Oh, childish. We've got to work quick, but I think we'll be able to bring her back. We're going to need to stabilize her. She's a little crooked, but really, would you notice? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not again. I have the cap to the glue, but I do not see the glue. <laughs> oh, okay. We're good. We're good. Krista, don't panic. I know my mother just had a heart attack when she watched this back. <laughs> Krista, don't give me the lecture. I know. Be careful that you got nice furniture. I know. I'm sorry. It was a lapse in my judgment. There are towels everywhere. I promise the glue did not spill. Anyways, get ready with me to get disowned by my family. <laughs> For real, I need to pick up the pace. I need to start taking this seriously. Oh, no. I just realized that I don't have any of the liquid 
acetone stuff that you're supposed to... Surely you can just use water, right? It's fine. We're pivoting. We're going to use what we've got. I've been sitting here for four hours. I'm not driving off this mountain just to get down to a place that sells that shit. So since we're stranded up here, we've got nail polish remover. I don't know if that's the same thing or not. To be honest, I really don't think it is, but we'll find out. I just had a memory about nail polish remover that I completely forgot that I had. When I was in like third grade, I was sitting in the basement of the house that we lived in at the time. I was sitting in the basement watching TV, doing my nails, and I had my cup that I was drinking like Dr. Pepper or whatever out of. And then I had my bottle of nail polish remover next to it and the cap was off because I was using it. And I'm sitting there doing my nails and stuff and I grabbed the bottle of nail polish remover and just fucking chugged it. and. I'm gonna get sick talking about it. Oh my God. I, I actually can't even talk about this. I shouldn't have brought it up. I survived, so I'm okay now. But, which honestly, are we surprised? Like, hello, my dad's arrived getting blown up by a bomb. My jeans are superior. But still, don't go drinking nail polish remover anytime soon. So I don't know much about the acrylic powder. Oh, oh, that actually picked it up. Okay, so now we let it kind of soak a little bit get a little bit more oh okay it's all kind of falling apart now yep yep all right <laughs> kind of but not really all right i got a tiny little nugget on there progress this is so hard oh i actually think that the nail polish remover is working and I have only the tiniest bit left that I'm rationing and I have a whole other foot that I'm doing obviously. I just did some more digging around my parents' bathroom and I found a little bit of nail polish remover. But what the fuck is wrong with this? Look at it. It when Is this a Dairy Queen blizzard? You have to push this thing in and it like squirts it out. Why would you want your nail polish remover like that? I mean, I guess so that way you could just like put it on a cotton pad or a cotton ball. I mean, still, I guess that makes sense. But still, how am I supposed to get that into this little cup? <laughs> oh God. Oh God. I'm allergic to all of this bullshit. Just gonna use my handy dandy foot filer to file down these little talons. Ooh. I need to look at my phone for some nail art inspo. Jerrica gives me very clean girl vibes. So maybe a French tip. Okay, I found a really cute picture that actually I would get this set and I probably will. This is what the inspo is gonna be for Jerrica's toenails. When I was little, I used to do my nails all the time for school. I would like watch all of the nail art tutorials, try to do watermelons and all kinds of weird designs on my nails. My teachers at school would always be like oh my god you're so good at this your nails look so great girl you deserve an award for acting that hard i tell you that <laughs> you know how everybody is doing those trends on instagram where they like have girls night and everybody paints wine glasses or they pass around a canvas and everybody adds their own twist to it they should start doing it with these in the picture it's kind of an ombre effect so i think we're gonna use a little cotton pad to do that now it's time for me to get out my handy dandy nail art pen i have to paint the little designs on the toenails now we've got some white nail polish oh ew that needs to be shaken up I'm so good at this. Oh my god. I'm finally adding gems and I think that this is gonna be my favorite part because I'm lazy. I think we're at a place where Jerrica needs to sit, have some time alone by herself to think about what choices she made and what got her to this situation today. And in the meantime, Beatrice wants to come chat. Beatrice isn't really doing so hot. She's been through it for sure. I think it's safe to say that she's at rock bottom and... It's only up from here. So let's dress her up. 
right? We don't have any time to waste. She's depending on us for this glow up. Where am I putting everything? Cause I don't see it. I think I found that the super glue and a little bit of nail primer glue stuff works to get this shit to stick. So that's what we're doing. Honestly, I'm getting so tired. It is seven o'clock at night now. And I started this at around two. So yeah, I'm tired. I'm having fun though. <laughs> I swear I am. <laughs> Maybe I could just take a nap. Wow, this sticks. Oh my god, look, you have to see this. Beatrice can do tricks. Look, look, I can really get in there. You know. <laughs> I'm thinking for Beatrice, we need to do a different shape. Maybe more of an almond tip. Actually, maybe a coffin nail. I actually think that a coffin tip would be easier. So let's just give her a little trimming. We wanna, we wanna make sure that we are as precise and even as possible. Oh, oh, all right. What? Oh, we've lost another nail, guys. Beatrice is going into surgery. Super glue. Ooh. Other weird glue stuff. Bruh. This nail salon is about to have the best Yelp reviews you've ever seen. We've already saved two lives today. I'm finally at the point where I can put more acrylic on this foot. I mean, Beatrice, sorry. I think I'm gonna try a different kind of acrylic powder for this one just because I can. Trust me, I don't think my dad will be picky. If anything, he should be fucking grateful that he's getting a free pedicure. So. Go, 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 go. I think technically this powder is for dip nails, but I'm curious if I could just use it as acrylic. Surely I could just use the dip powder as acrylic, right? Ooh, okay. So it's kind of falling apart and going everywhere, but it didn't stick to the brush the way that the other one did. So maybe there's more hope to like mold this one the way that we want it. Or maybe not. Maybe it'll all just crumble and dissolve like wet chunks of cereal. Yeah. Ew, no! Why did it do that? We're gonna try another different acrylic powder. I probably shouldn't open that with my teeth, huh? What the fuck? Why is there a little bead in here? You gotta see this. You guys just watched me open that. You watched me open that. Do you see that? That, that little nugget right there. What is that? Ew. Oh, eh? oh that's even worse. Oh God. All right, back to work. No more goofing off. Ooh, shit, fuck, ooh, shoot, no. We're just gonna leave the little suspicious chunk in there. Ooh, all right, this one's working nice. This acrylic, yup. I feel like I'm so focused and in the zone now, really trying to make this look good. I feel like I'm getting faster at it now too. I'm not even gonna lie, I think Beatrice is gonna turn out better than Jerrica. But you know what? I never liked Jerrica. She seemed like a I definitely wished I would have used this powder from the beginning because this one is just working with me so much better. Can I tell you guys something funny though? I can't believe I'm just gonna like out myself like this, but I had to stop and do about 20 minutes of yoga because <sighs> your girl can't hang anymore. I'm 23 and I'm falling apart, man. I've been sitting here since two and uh, my back is aching, my feet hurt. I feel like I'm dying. <sighs> Wish I was young again. I know when I'm older, I'll look back on this video and be like, bitch, shut the fuck up. But for now, that's how I feel. For sure, this one's gonna be way better because I'm not even gonna lie. Jericho was a little chunky, but Beatrice is nice and smooth. Or now. I don't mean to brag, but it's actually so smooth that 
I feel like it doesn't even look like it has acrylic on it, so maybe I need to add more. <laughs> because actually, now that I'm looking around, there are a lot of little balls around, and maybe I've just been barely putting any on and just wiping it all off. And like, just telling myself, wow, I'm doing so good. <laughs> But now I can officially say that I am done with the acrylic. So we gotta look at some nail inspo for Beatrice. I know I wanna do a bunch of crazy nail charms. I did some digging and I found what I think I'm gonna use as the nail inspo for Beatrice. We're gonna try to add some of the charms and stuff just to make it a little bit extra, a little fun, a little distracting from all of her problems. I don't know how this happened, but my brush I'm not even gonna lie, Beatrice is gonna look so good after all of this. Finally, I'm starting to feel like my hours and hours and hours of work might actually be kind of worth it. <gasps> Ooh, I am telling you guys, I know this is gonna eat. It might be something that's not edible, but girl, it's gonna eat. Yep, this is more of a natural look, I'm thinking. I'm already impressed with myself, to be honest. I've outdone myself. This is looking too good for me to mess it up now. Oh, I've really got to focus. I'm pulling out all of my fun little nail charms, and I'm going to add some fun bows and, like, pearls and, I don't know, girly things all over these ugly toenails. By the way, I don't know who needs to hear this, but uh, nail gems are actually super mega cheap and you can order them on Amazon. That's what I did. And I kind of was obsessed with them for a minute until I realized that if you do absolutely anything with your nails whatsoever, you're gonna have to keep super glue on you like it's an EpiPen. I know that I have some charms that look like little like gummy bears and stuff. I want to find those because I feel like that could be cute. Oscar? I really hope that was the cat. I <laughs> Ooh, okay, I have so many options. I could do a little stuffed animal bunny. There's like a little snake in here. Oh, that is cute. That's cute. I said it, I said it again. That is cute. I can't believe this has taken my entire day. It's literally almost nine o'clock at night. Can you believe that? Do you ever just get something sticky in your hands that, like, you're trying to precisely place, but then it keeps sticking to each finger, so then you're just passing it to each finger while you're trying to just get it on the thing? That's only been what this entire fucking video has been for me. Mom, do not panic. This was my towel that I brought over here, so it's fine. You didn't even see it. See? It's fine. The time is officially 9.20 p.m., which means I have been working on these toenails for over eight hours. I'm so excited to show you guys. I've put a lot of work into this. So if one person could just tell me I did a good job, I would really, 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 really appreciate that. <laughs> but our ladies are now ready to make their debut. Oot, 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 oot. First out, we have Jerica. Let's give Jerica a close up. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I tried so hard on this. I, <laughs> when I said she was chunky, I did not lie. The power that is in these hands to have created something. <laughs> Let's compare Jerica to her inspo picture. Muy bien. All that time for what? To be honest. But <laughs> I mean, there's some little hairs on her. All kinds of little things that just make her unique. Someone's gonna love her for her insecurities and all of her imperfections one day. Will it be my dad? Probably not. But I bet there's someone out there who would just love this. Let me know what you guys think of Jerrica. Don't think I've forgotten. 
we still have one more bombshell that hasn't entered the villa yet. Introducing the new and very improved, might I add, Beatrice. Is that her name? Beatrice. I can't even lie, I actually think it doesn't look terrible. Maybe I should be more specific. I think it looks better than the other ones. Definitely, for sure. And come on, since you've been distracted by all of the hair and the gems, you've probably hardly looked at this giant crack, right? I love all the little gems. I think that they do a great job of covering up all of the mistakes and um, they make the little tiny hairs not as noticeable, you know? What was that, Beatrice? Oh, you think you look great? I love your confidence. I think that we did what we set out to do today, but there's only one more thing we've got to do, and that's show my dad. He won't be home until tomorrow, though, when he gets back from his road trip, so let's just hope after tomorrow I still have a dad who loves me. <laughs> If you want to see me surprise my dad with these, then please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hopefully we can do something like this again sometime. It is now the next day, and that means we get to surprise my dad with his new friends. I have spent such a long time making these toenails, trying to make sure that they are as perfect as we could get them. I'm not gonna lie, I think I've kind of outdone myself here. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit nervous to find out how my dad is gonna react to this. I mean, when you get a free pedicure as nice as this, why would you be anything but grateful? Maybe a little bit scared, but grateful? I'm running out of time. I'm not gonna be able to stall anymore. It's finally time for me to show my dad what I've created. My dad has entered the nail salon. Mm -hmm. First thoughts, what would you rate the scenery of the salon? It looks familiar, but different at the same time. <laughs> I would say that that is crazy accurate. Yeah. So how did you enjoy your sweet little vacation trip away from home? It was great because they had no cell phone service, so I didn't have to talk to anybody. <laughs> While you were on your vacation, did you ever stop and think to yourself, wow, I'd really like a makeover? Well, every day. That's exactly <laughs> what I thought of it while I was sitting there fishing. I need a makeover. Okay, more specifically, have you ever thought, I need a prosthetic makeover? No. Well, you no, won't no. after today! <laughs> okay. I'm so excited. Do you remember uh, whenever I was little and I would ask you to let me paint your toenails and you'd let me paint the toenails on your fake foot? Yeah. Five or six, though. Imagine if I did that again, but times ten. Oh, boy. <laughs> Close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do I grab both of them with the same hand? I guess I'm gonna have to. You got your eyes closed? Yeah. Okay, whenever you're ready, you can take a look at your new friends, Beatrice and Jerrica. Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Now that you've got a good look at both of them, which one is your favorite? To wear? <laughs> or to marvel at? Because that one's... I don't know. You can marvel at that one, but you'd want to... I'd rather wear this one if I had the choice. <laughs> Why? Why? Look at this one. Holy shit. Yeah, but the nails look so much better on that one. The nails distract yeah. from what's going on with the foot, right? I don't know. The, the whole foot's about to break off. Um, All the toes. I yeah. guess that could be a deal breaker. Oh my god. Oscar! Oscar, get down! Get off of there, you dang. <laughs> Oscar! He's 
Okay, he's safe, he's safe. So anyways, aren't you happy? Oh yes, so happy. You have to try one on. I will definitely be styling at the beach. So why don't you style now? I, I can't fit that in my shoes. Oh, right. But without a shoe, though. You, you could know, just not wear a shoe then, right? Flip-flops or something. Oh, right. Because you can't wear flip-flops. Yeah, yeah, but you could just wear them plain, too. You could just try them on for me. I have to have my Allen wrenches. Oh, you're just ungrateful. See the bottom of my shoe is? I mean, <laughs> this one? Yeah, it connects right there, so my whole left leg would be... Actually, it looks like about three inches longer. I think you're just making excuses to not wear a foot. I am not. Look at that. Yeah, no, yeah, that's so convincing. Yeah. <laughs> be so long, I won't be able to walk. I'll have to do some work to it. I mean, I swear I really want to wear it, but I, I just can't. Because it's... You swear? You promise? I swear. Look, you know, I would love to do it. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Just in time for next week's video. On a scale of 1 to 10, how good do you think I did on the nails? Oh, that's a 10. Uh, undoubtedly. Look at that. It's a little messy with the glue, but I mean, <laughs> the little charming things are, are awesome. Oh. <laughs> so how much would you like to tip today? Oh, I don't tip. <laughs> <laughs> that's a real laugh. It's a real you want a tip? Don't, <laughs> don't cut the red wire. <laughs> That's a good tip. All right. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with us at McKenzie's Nail Salon. You're welcome. One you. through five stars. How many stars would you give oh, us? Oh, it's a five. Oh, really? Even though you won't wear the feet? Yeah. I'll wear it. I really do want to. <laughs> I hate to say it guys, but I think that McKenzie's Nail Salon has officially come to a close. It was 1,010% my decision. It had nothing to do with that letter from the state about how I don't have the right licensing and there's improper working conditions. Honestly, I had great clients that loved my work. I mean, my dad left a stellar Yelp review after I convinced him to take the first one down. But you know what? Nails are not my passion. And that's why I've decided to shut it down myself. I am the one, the one, your son, don't need the gun. You know what? Since we're on the topic of feet, I think I have another idea.